Hi, I'm Evan with Solar Edge. This week's tech tip is on how to wire our hub inverter. So, starting off with our home network card, this allows us to communicate wirelessly with our battery, our load controller devices, along with any smart home switches. We're gonna land that here on our communication board. Also on the communication board comes factory installed, either a Wi-Fi kit or a five-year data cell kit. All right, moving down to the lower cabinet, we have a nine volt battery that needs to be installed. And this is not your ordinary battery. So if you do lose this, please contact support for a replacement. After that, we're gonna land our backup interface Phoenix connector with communication wiring. Now remember when we wire these, these Phoenix connectors to keep A and B as a twisted pair. The same goes with our EV Phoenix connector. And that goes on the top. Once that's landed, we're going to go ahead and land our battery conductors here. The way you do that is you jam a screwdriver into this port land the conductor, pull the screwdriver out, do a tug test, and it's landed. So I'm gonna move on to our negative. And then to our PV positive. And our PV negative. Make sure before you land your PV positive and minus for each string to test an open air voltage to make sure you have the correct amount of optimizers checking in. After that, let's move over to the AC side. Make sure that your grounds are, are wired in the back here on the grounding bus bar. They need to be wired first because it's very difficult to wire them after you've already landed your AC conductors. So let's start with our line one here. Line two for the EV charger. Also note that this system is fully de-energized, so it is safe for me to work on it. All right, now we're gonna move over to our AC line one. Line two, and our neutral. Tug test on all of those. And that's it. Thanks for joining us.